Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting the restoration project on the 1972 Alfa Romeo GTV. You can kind of see her in the background here. And at the heart of that car is this lovely 2.0 liter Spica injected four cylinder. Now the motor was removed years and years ago from the car. The oil was drained so it has set and it looks like maybe the pistons are frozen in the, you know, in the liners or what have you. I removed the Spica belt cover. We removed the pulley. The Spica does turn, and I think the Spica system is probably in good shape. Uh, however, the motor won't turn, as I said. So I thought in today's episode, we're just going to tear the motor down and hopefully have at the end of this episode, a rebuildable core. So why don't we get started? All right, so we figured we'll start with the alternator here and get that off. And I would remember as you're taking these things off to get baggies and bag everything together or put the bolts back with the parts that way when you go to rebuild again, you'll have everything well organized and documented. Bolt here. focus on getting the water pump off and again remember bag all of these screws and bolts and label them so that you'll know exactly where they go you could get very disorganized quick and have a problem when you're restoring the car back.
All right, guys, we are completed with the full teardown of the motor. Um, it's still all dirty over here. I'm going to spend some time and get everything cleaned back up in the garage and call it a day. I forget how time consuming this can be to fully remove the motor. Uh, so as you saw in the videos, the, the issue was the motor was seized and it looked like it was cylinder number one that um, somehow was just seized to the um, cylinder wall itself. Uh, so I had to bang it out with the hammer, but was able to get out, no damage or anything. Um, I'm definitely replacing the sleeves, the pistons, the rods, cams, valves. Everything's being replaced in the car or in the motor itself. So this has been a challenging day to say the least. Uh, a lot of work on this motor. Seemed like my the 67 Julia Sprint GT, that 1300 motor, it seemed to come apart a lot easier than for some reason this motor, um, just this was just a whole lot more time consuming for some reason, but we got it done and that's the key in today's episode. So next week's episode or next episode is going to be building the motor so i still have to take the sleeves out of it they're pretty they're stuck so i got to figure out what to do there i've uh, talked to a couple of my alpha people to figure out the best way to remove the sleeves themselves without of course damaging the block uh, and then just a lot of cleanup the oil pan everything everything's got a lot of cleanup uh, i got to send the head off and I'm going to probably send the block off just to get everything looked at and make sure we're good. Also, the, the crank is going to be sent off. Um, I may have saw a spun bearing, um, it possibly, but the crank journals, everything felt really good and smooth. I couldn't feel anything with my fingers, uh, finger uh, nails or anything like that. So I feel pretty good that the crank is in perfectly fine shape but we'll send it off and get them to look at it and make sure that it's stock hasn't been ground down or anything um, and then and then like I said our next episode is going to be rebuilding this thing and um, getting her um, test fired on the engine stand and see how well it runs so uh, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. It definitely helps me out. And until the next episode, God bless.